In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to perform a local privilege escalation on your Windows XP machine. I'm running Windows XP with Service Pack 3 fully patched. So let's get started. We'll click Start, Run, and then type in CMD. And then we'll have a command shell that pops up. Now to perform this task, we have to use a command called at. Now what at is doing is it's going to run a command at a specific time. So if you notice down here in the bottom right, it's 740. We'll have to change that into military time or the 24 hour clock. So in this case, it's 1940. But we want to run the command one minute from now. So we'll do 1941 forward slash interactive and then cmd.exe. We'll hit enter. Okay. So mine popped up pretty quick as the time has just changed to 741. In your case, you may have to wait a couple seconds or up to a minute. From here, to perform this escalation into to system privileges, we're going to right click on the taskbar, click task manager, the process tab, and we're going to shut down explorer.exe. So we'll, we'll end that task. But just to show you that I am running on my account, Miller, so we'll go ahead We'll end explorer.exe, click yes, and you notice we've lost the taskbar and everything. From here, we'll use this shell. Now if you notice, we asked for a command shell, but this is actually a little bit different. It's an SVC host. So we'll go explorer.exe to reload explorer. Give the computer a few minutes to reload it. Once we've performed that task, we can go ahead and we can close this window. Click the start button after things have loaded. And you can see here, we now have system privileges. Now system is a much more powerful uh, right than admin has. From here, you can alter administrator accounts, passwords, delete anything you want, and pretty much perform any task that you wish.